Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. A leader is a human being all the time. Living the full life of a human being all the time. That's first and foremost. When this human being goes through personally rough times, he exercises, he or she exercises self-leadership so that they overcome their difficulties and go back to standing on their feet again and resume their journey of living as human beings again. A leader is a human being who when he or she finds that people around them, (coughs) whether at the family level greater family, society, team, organization, country, people whom they care about are going through difficulty, they help by mobilizing these people so that they do whatever it takes to be done. Change, transformation, adaptation, evolution, whatever it takes so that these people, the people whom the leader cares about, solve their problems, confront their fears, confront their challenges, and go back to living a beautiful and dignified and fulfilling human life. So first and foremost, a leader is a human being. That's why I don't like to use the word leader. What's a leader? There's nothing. You are a human being. You find yourself in trouble, unnecessary mess, unnecessary pain, unnecessary suffering in your relationships, in your career, with yourself, at whatever level in your life. You look at yourself, you look in the mirror and say, you deserve a better reality, you deserve a better life. And then what do you do? You mobilize yourself. You look inside and you do the changes that are necessary to transform from within so that you go back to living a normal human life. That also includes pain, also includes suffering. Because that's part of life, but at least a normal proportion of suffering that comes with normal life. A a, a life that has a minimal number of unnecessary mess minimum amount of unnecessary mess, minimum number of unnecessary mistakes. That's what, that's what leader, in that moment, you're exercising self-leadership. Or when you come up with ideas and opportunities, when you have this entrepreneurial thinking that I can make my life better, I can create a better reality for myself, I can educate myself, I can learn, I can overcome habits, I can learn new habits, I can develop myself, I I can become more emotionally and mentally uh, strong, I can become more mature, I can become more independent. So when you create those kinds of opportunities that will in the end elevate your life, then you're exercising self-leadership. In that context, you're a leader. But you're a leader that's just another layer, just a layer, it's a role, it's an attitude, it's an approach you take on top of being or within the context of being a human. The same person, when you do the same in your environment, by when you're helping others do the same, so that they can fix their life, improve their life, transform, change from within, so that they can create a better reality for themselves, when you're mobilizing to do that, then you're exercising leadership. But still, when you're doing that, you're still a human being. So you never forget 
that first and foremost you are a human being and that includes compassion experiencing and expressing compassion and receiving compassion and that includes experiencing giving and receiving empathy and that includes experiencing and receiving and giving love and that includes smiling and laughing and crying and being sad and angry and um, making uh, jokes and enjoying funny moments and going on adventures and making mistakes and learning from them and making more mistakes and discovering yourself and discovering other people and going into relationships and messing up these relationships and then fixing these relationships and knowing new people and more people that's first and foremost you are a human being you can't exercise leadership if you forget that your main identity is a human being and through living your life as a human being exercising what it means to be a human being then you can exercise great leadership in my own story with leadership and i think we can generalize this i think for anybody who is exercising leadership when they see that the people that they're mobilizing have made the journey into a better life have created a better reality they overcame a challenge they solved their problems they stop creating unnecessary mess they've matured they've developed they're living now a more dignified life a more prosperous life a life of abundance a life of fulfillment when people exercise leadership see this is happening then this is the proudest moment of all because the journey hasn't been an easy journey from the perspective of the person who is exercising leadership it has been a journey of sacrifices of frustrations of patience of disappointment of dealing with resistance of dealing with saboteurs of dealing with uh, 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 di disappointments of dealing with pain and suffering and setbacks that's the journey of leadership so when they feel when people exercise leadership feel that this has given fruit and the journey was worthwhile then this is it's an amazing moment it makes all the pain worthwhile I'll give an example you're running a company and the company faced difficulties and its own survival was at stake and you managed to get over that period and to come out from that challenge or difficulty alive and stronger what could be a better reason to celebrate you've managed to create an opportunity that nobody thought of and as a result of that opportunity you're at a different place of prosperity of success what could be prouder than that moment you've taken care of your family or department in a difficult time and now they're in a good place what could be a happier moment than this so 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 leadership celebrates when the people that leadership is, is trying to mobilize have created a better reality and they're now happier Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.